Resource groups allow you to organize your resources in Azure. I'm Mike Roderick, and in this quick bite, I'm going to show you how to create a resource group. All right, so we're going to start by logging into portal.azure.com. And from there, we're going to go to the navigation tree over the left hand side and choose resource groups. This is where we can see existing resource groups as well as create new ones. To create a new one, up at the top, we're going to click Add. And then we'll have to fill in the required information. The first of which is what subscription this resource group is going to be associated with, which should already be populated. But if you have more than one, you'll want to choose the appropriate one from the download or from the drop down list. Uh, and then below that, we simply give that resource group a name. Microsoft recommends a naming convention, something like RG for resource group dash, and then uh, a name that's meaningful. It does need to be unique within your subscription. I'm going to call mine S2S VPN dash 01 because I'm going to use this later on to create a site to site VPN. So from the name, I'll be able to tell what type of objects are going to be stored in that resource group. And then you'll choose your region where you want that metadata for these resources in this resource group to be stored. I'm going to choose East US. Then we'll click review and create. And this is when Azure is going to double check and make sure uh, that your name is unique within the scope, that it's not going to have any problems. You can see across the top, I've got a green bar that says validation passed. We are good to go. We can click create and it won't take very long. It should create that new resource group. Now, while we're waiting, you'll see up here in the top, uh, actually, I think it's already finished, but usually you'll see a little progress bar kind of scrolling across, letting you know that it's in process and it's creating that resource group. And then when it's finished, we can click on that notification and we'll have the ability to jump straight to that resource group. Or from the list of resource groups that we were working with earlier, I could simply click refresh and now you'll see my new resource group listed there. And that's how you create a resource group in the Azure portal. I'm Mike Roderick and this has been another Quick Bite from IT Pro TV.